All right, everyone. This will be the concluding video for the series of uh, The Power of a Praying Parent, a Book of Prayers by Stormy O'Martin, this little book here. Now, let me read you the very back page because it's other books by, by Stormy, okay. The Power of a Praying Woman. Stormy or Martin's best-selling books have helped hundreds of thousands of individuals pray more effectively for their spouses, their children, and their nation. Now she has written a book on a subject she knows intimately, being a praying woman. Stormy's deep knowledge of scripture and candid examples from her own prayer life provide guidance for women who seek to trust God with deep longings and cover every area of life with prayer. And then, of course, um, I already... Um, did a series, The Power of a Praying Wife. Now, that is a, a regular book um, with chapters, and then at the end of the chapter is the prayer. I talked a little bit about what I can remember from those chapters. Basically, God speaking to her to um, start praying for her own husband. And what I had did, um, I was able to borrow the book from um, a Christian friend of mine, almost 20 years ago when I first moved here to um, California back in 2001 and I made photocopies of the prayers at the end of these chapters and um, I have read those off and on um, and basically praying for for my own husband now the very last prayer in that series um, was not in her book um, because she wrote her book in the mindset of a Christian husband. Well, since my husband has not put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ as of this, this moment, I felt it was important for women out there who have... Um, a husband that is not a believer to include in that series um, a prayer for his salvation. So, taking her example all through the book on how to use scripture and apply scripture in prayer, I wrote um, the very last prayer for his salvation. So, just so so everyone knows. Okay, so that is in its own separate playlist. On my channel, um, The Power of a Praying Parent is in its um, own playlist. And then I talked about also how um, the prayers uh, for, for husbands could also be turned around. And husbands, you could be using these same prayers to pray over your wives. Well, she actually wrote a book, The Power of a Praying Husband. Okay, um, I do not have this book, and I just realized that she um, did a book specifically for husbands when I was reading um, the the last page. So let me um, let me read what is written about that. Building on the success of the power of a praying wife, Stormy offers this guide to help husbands pray more effectively for their wives. Each chapter features comments from well-known Christian men, biblical wisdom, and prayer ideas. So. At some point, I may go ahead and um, get this this book, and then I will do um, a series. But in the meantime, um, I do highly encourage you men, um, if you wish, go ahead and get her book, The Power of a Praying Husband, to start praying over your wives. Or you can also go back through um, the prayers in The Power of a Praying Wife and just apply those um, to, to your wife. Okay, and of course, um, we just now are finishing The Power of a Praying Parent. Um, this powerful book for parents offers 30 easy-to-read chapters that focus on specific areas of prayers for children. This personal practical guide leads the way to enrich strong prayer lives for both moms and dads. And then there's another book, um, Just Enough Light for the Step I'm On. New Christians and those experiencing life changes or difficult times will appreciate Stormy's honesty, candor, and advice based on experience and the Word of God in this collection of devotional readings perfect for the pressures of today's world. And again, that book is called Just Enough Light for the Step I'm On. 
Okay, so um, just my final concluding um, thoughts on the power of a praying parent. It's so critical that we keep our children in prayer. And this book, um, as well as the power of a praying wife, has really, really taught me how to pray not only for my husband but my children and the tools in which I can pray scripture over my husband and my children okay and I absolutely am seeing answered prayers not only in my husband but also in my children so um very very good book um it's it's blessed me greatly in in my own prayer life and I hope that this series um, has blessed you as well. So I think that's going to wrap up um, this series. Um, I have a couple more devotional books that I think I will start over again. Um, one is um, The Voice of the Martyrs. It's a 90-day um, devotional, which gives um, real stories of... Um, Christians that have either been martyred or persecuted and how God is using them to to lead others to Christ and just just their testimony of, of how God is is helping these people that sometimes they lose their life or they lose um, a family member's life and so I will probably um, be starting that and then I have another one um, called wisdom from the Bible um, going through the, uh, the book of Proverbs. Okay. Um, and so probably I'll start next on, um, the, uh, the book of the martyrs and, uh, we'll get through that. And then I will hopefully be able to do, um, wisdom from the Bible dealing with, um, the book of Proverbs. So, um, until then, or until the next video, um, I hope this has been a blessing to, to you and will help you with uh, your prayer life as you start to pray for your children. So until the next video, you all take care and God bless.